All right, let's start off with what we learned at the end of block day, okay? So it says the word expand. So expand means I need to make it bigger. So I'm going to take this and write it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I take this. One, two, three, four. And then I count them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If some of you saw, you could just go seven plus four. And that gives you the eleven. Okay? This one. The next one is x cubed, x cubed, x cubed, which is x, 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 and x, x, x. You count all of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You have 9 of them, and there is your answer. So I could have done this, 3 plus 3 plus 3, and that gives me 9. Or I could have done this and gone 3 times 3, and that also gives you 9. Okay. Try the next one. Expand it out. So, I always focus on the smaller one, because writing 14 m's, I don't think so. But if I rewrite this as m squared over m squared, and then that would be m12. m squared, m squared is gone. Boom. It's m12. Okay. Another thing I can do is I can list them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that's the 14. Then I take the 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2. 1, 2, 1, 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I can also do this. Are there more on top or more on bottom? There's more on top. How many more? Two. So in other words, I could do it like this. 14 minus 2. And that's 12. All different ways that work. Okay? Let's go to this one. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to write it four times. x squared, y squared. x squared, y squared. x squared, y squared. x squared, y squared. So I have two, four, six, eight of these. 2, 4, 6, 8 of these. So my answer is x to the 8, y to the 8. I could have also done this. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 4, 8. It doesn't matter. Just count it out. I could have gone like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Gives me the 8. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm going to do this one separate. So I'm going to just look at the x's. So I got five here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. B, by, boom, x cubed. Focus on the y's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Y, eight. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is you look here, decide if there's more on top or bottom. Top by three. More on top or bottom. Top by eight. Okay. You could have also done it like this. You could have gone x squared, x squared, x cubed, because two plus three gives you five. Gone. Y cubed, y cubed, y eight. And that gives you one. X cubed, Y cubed. Done. I don't care. Pick one of the ways. Either do this way, or do this way, or do this way. Okay? Let's do the next one. Two and eight. This is two times one. This is two times four. Bye bye. Twelve X's. So two on top, two on the bottom. 10 more, because 2 plus 10 is 12. So now that's bye bye You don't need the 1, so x to the 10 over 4. Another way you could have done this problem, you could have done it like this. 2 goes into 8 4 times, 
and then 12 minus 2 is 10. And that's where I got the 10. I don't care. Get the right answer. Okay, let's go to the next one. 4x is on top. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5x is the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bu, 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 bye. Oh, I'm just left with an x, but it's on the bottom. I could have said, are there more x's on top or x's on bottom? So I could have gone 5 minus 4, which is 1, but it's on the bottom. Go to the next one. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ba, ba, up. Oh, I'm left with 2 this time. But there are 2 on the bottom. I've done it like this. X squared, X squared, X squared. Bye-bye. Boom. Two more on the bottom. Another way I could have done it. 4 minus 2 is 2. But there's more on the bottom. I don't care. Get the right answer. This one, I could go x7 over x7x cubed. Gone. On the bottom. I could write it out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All that's bye bye. Boom. Three more on the bottom. Could have done this. 10 minus 7 is 3 on the bottom. Whatever. Okay. So we're going to complete this now. 1 squared means 1 times 1. And 1 times 1 is 1. 2 squared means 2 times 2 is 4. 3 squared means 3 times 3 9. 4 squared is 4 times 4 16. 5 squared, 5 times 5, 25. 6 squared, 6 times 6, 36. 7 squared, noticing I keep saying the word. Let me make that a little bit right there. Squared, so 7 squared, 7 times 7, 49. 8 squared, 8 times 8, 64. 9 squared, 81. 10 squared, 10 times 10, 100. So here's the questions. Here's the answers. That's what it means. That's the answer. Now this one, you have to go backwards. So you have to think what times what gives you one. What times what gives you four. What times what gives you nine. What times what gives you 16. What times what gives you 25? What times what gives you 36? What times what gives you 49? What times what gives you 64? What times what, oops, that's an 8, gives you 81? And what times what gives you 100? So here's the question. Here's the answers. The square root of 1, 1. The square root of 25, 5. The square root of 100, 10. Okay? Now let's focus on cubed. When you see cubed, little 3. Where a square root is, little 2. They're exponents. So this time, you're doing the 1. 3 times 1 times 1 times 1, 1. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. 3 cubed, 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, let me show that relationship, is 9, times another 3, 27. 4 cubed, 4 times 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4, <coughs> 64. Excuse me. 5 cubed. 5 times 5 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5. 125. <coughs> Excuse me. 6 cubed. 6 times 6 times 6. 6 times 6? 36. 36 times 6. 
to 16. 7 cubed, 7 times 7 times 7. 7 times 7 is 49 times 7. Uh, 343. So, here's the question. Here's the answer, but this time it's cubed. And over here, it was squared. So notice the difference. Now let's do the cube root. So this time we're dealing with cube root. You see how there's the little three, little three, little three. That tells you it's the cube root. I need you to think of what times what times what gives you that. What times what times what gives you that. What times what times what gives you 27. The cube root of 64, 4 times 4 times 4, 4. I want you to notice the difference between the cube root of 64 and the square root of 64. Look at the difference between them. What times what gives you 64? But what times what times what gives you 64 is the cube root. So the difference between 4 and 8. Let's go back to this one. 5 times 5 times 5, 5. 6 times 6 times 6 gives you 216. 7 times 7 times 7 gives you 343. And again, you'll notice it matches. There's the problem. Boom. There's the answer. It's like forwards and backwards, okay? All right. So now that you did that, I need you to actually figure out the answers to these, okay? So you need to figure out what times what times what gives you 64. Let's look. 4 times 4 times 4. Boom. The answer is 4. What times what times what gives you 125? 5 times 5 times 5. 125. This one's crazy. What times what times what gives you 8? 2, 2, 2, but it's negative. So the answer is negative 2. Do this one. What times what times what gives you 27? But this is just square root, so it's what times what? And this is a crazy one because this is the square root of 3 squared, which is really the square root of 9, which means it's what times what? And that's 3. Let's do the next one. 2 cubed. 2 cubed means 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Next one. 4 times 3 is 4, because you're taking this, and it goes in there. See that? Now you're taking this, and it goes in there. See that? 4 times 3 is 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 